about who might go the whole way. It's a classic, it's an instant classic between Vitality and G2. G2 looking for revenge for the organization. Going back years ago, Vitality simply trying to defend their land streak. G2 start off in the Vitality end. You've got to be careful these days with all the kick off strats going around. A goal can come out of anywhere, but we've made it to midfield play in the opening seconds. This was Daniel up against Zen. Match of the many have been looking forward to. Alpha being hounded. As Beast Mode takes away, only up to Zen, picks up 100. No mistakes allowed at this level. Swiss was well, certainly an interesting one for both these teams. Not as clean as Ivor would have liked. Not as clean as Zen might like this situation to be, but he has controlled it. And he's been the main ball player so far for this Vitality team. But in goes Radosin. He's got good territory. Well, there's a slow start for G2 yesterday against BDS. They rallied, won four straight. Vitality, meanwhile, started off stronger. Three straight games against Furia. And it looks like G2 have come out and matched Vitality in the midfield. For the most part, that big set. Vitality have a dangerous center ball there. G2 briefly under pressure, but they escape. Unbelievable read. It's now beast mode up. Backboard looks for the double. Just couldn't quite set up the angle. As Daniel actually collides into his own teammates, they've now got a cut rotation. Try to keep some sort of pressure going. They've done well. Oh, instant challenge there from Atomic. Is he clean through? A oh, Uvencha! Atomic 1 0. Immediately challenges Zen and goes all the way himself. That is unbelievable confidence. Plays Zen before Zen even knew what he wanted to do with the ball. Wipes it away from the car. G2 up 1 0. But that's exactly what they need to do. They need to get up. And again, Atomic immediately challenges Zen. It doesn't matter that he's been outplayed there. He's giving his teammates behind him time to get control of the ball. They are absolutely going to be shutting down Zen every time they can. But it's not just Zen. Radosin really showing up yesterday. Alpha really showing up yesterday. That is the style G2 have got to use if they're going to have a chance, not only in this matchup, but to go the distance, which, of course, as you all know, is their plan. Alpha really does feel like the sleeping giant of this event. We haven't quite seen him up to that kind of level that we know he can reach. Zen, on the other hand, just trying to chase up. Doesn't get the 100 boost, but in comes Redosin. Looks for the Devil Tap. Atomic takes it away. Next one up. It's a double commit, so it's so important that you win the ball. Beast Mode did exactly that. Yeah, G2 are not wasting time in defense. They've got the backboard covered here. Infield, a little bit open. It's slightly an opportunity here for Vitality, and it goes in. Alpha locks it low. There was a G2 defender on the goal line, but it proved to be too awkward of a save. Yeah, Atomic would have liked it anywhere but over there. Oh, oh. Unbelievable placement. And I think if you play that quick and you play that with power, there is a chance Atomic can get to it. You slow yeah. it up, Atomic's car is just going to slide off the backboard. Yeah, something you can't do. You can't dodge downers. You can't use your flip to go down in Rocket League as Vitality now all over G2. Now G2 on the counter attack. They used this against BDS to great effect yesterday. Already a factor. Alpha offloads to Ridosin. Not really the bounce off the wall they were looking for. They play it anyway. Rose Ridosin with a flip reset. G2 trying to layer that defense, going for one early challenge, followed by another. For them, it's all about trying to recreate what they know they can do in practice, what they've done in North America all season long. It's been a difficult time completely transitioning that to the LAN in Copenhagen but they are getting better every single day. And for Vitality, it does feel like just avoid catastrophe. They really have been their own worst enemies at times. Up goes Beast Mode. Gonna try and challenge it back down. There goes Atomic, realizes he couldn't get there in time. So Zen and Alpha pressing forward. And Daniel will be so happy with how that one worked out. Yeah, Zen well, didn't have any boost there, just had to play the ball at that moment, or it would have been G2s for free. Complete deadlock in game one. It's a series we all want to be close after a stunning quarterfinal day yesterday. Every single series delivered in. Who's going to ice it up here at the end? It's then down the middle. Atomic and Beast Mode both jump. But again, these double commits don't really matter for G2 because they are making good on the ball. Back to the midfield. Atomic does take control, at least momentarily. Sidewall double tap. That's oh. dangerous. Zen's got to respect it. Just curls the ball towards the backboard. Cradles it away from danger. One minute left on the clock. Both these teams tied at one apiece. Well, Beast Mode's gone very deep here, but the back pass brings him back into the game. Daniel to Beast Mode, far to Atomic, to Beast Mode again. It's off the crossbar. And Radosin and the rest of Vitality were beat. If that was on target, it was 2-1. 
Now they're on the opposite side of the field. Atomic keeps it out. Low boost, has to just do well, and he's done exactly that. Redosa looking for a back pass. Alfil would have liked to take over. He has bumped for his troubles. So this is an opportunity now, G2. Trying to stride forwards, get their chances. Reset from Daniel, not going to be available. That first touch was very heavy. And Redosa is just going to cover oh. it as Alpha hits into him. Yeah, he tried to leave it there. That's definitely an attempted fake by Redosa, but it was pretty awkward. He couldn't get away from the ball. Still vitality. Moving forward towards the closing seconds of regulation. That's not the clear Beast Mode wanted. Zen going to pick it up at the edge of the box. Back towards it, but controlled well by Daniel. That was so dangerous as well. Daniel can't afford to make any mistakes. G2 can't afford to make any mistakes. Infield to Zen. Double commit. Who's first to it? Daniel. As now the ball hits the floor. We have overtime. Yeah, Vitality accepted the OT there. Looks like it's going to be Daniel's ball first. Ceiling play. Early dodge to get it past one. Backboard covered by Vitality. We're back into midfield. We're back over to the awaiting Alpha. Ball far side. Atomic realizes he has a little bit of time, but does still get there before a dosing. Zen parries the ball straight to Daniel. Daniel, beast mode, beast mode. Oh! Backboard double tap. Couldn't get to it. It's a beautiful infield pass by G2. Absolutely slamming it off the wall. And Rodolson's accidentally backflipped there, but he's got to follow up with Alpha 54. G2 really have used the center balls to their to great effect in this game. Atomic undefended. Shot saved by Zen. G2 continue to knock on the door. Alpha looking midfield. Rodolson realized he wasn't going to get there first, so no point launching forwards, but now we got to the backboard. Rodolson. Beast mode cutting rotation. Now cutting across the face of goal. He's bumping Zen. Atomic, that can go to anybody. They'll be happy to see that it was Daniel who looks again for the sidewall double. G2, I've got a couple of ideas. And the idea will be to get rid of this. It's a huge block by Atomic, but it hasn't gone too far. Here's Zen off the ceiling. Goes backward, but that's blocked as well. Both teams have covered their defensive options extremely well in game one. Really not giving any clear cut chances to the opposition. That's middle. No go, though, for Vitality. It's again G2. Read the pass well. A couple of demos coming through. As we look through the smoke screen. Beast mode. He's not done oh too well goodness. the challenge. Alpha sticks with. Double commit again. So it's up to Daniel just to control the ball for as long as possible as everyone resets. Oh, what a touch by Alpha. Tries to go for the fake, but the G2 challengers continue to come in just in the nick of time. They are not slowing down their aggression with their defense. That's a good hit. Zen controls it brilliantly. I mean, that was not an easy first touch, especially in the danger area. He's still going. Zen pass two. Of course, G2 have always got that third man. Looking for the demo. They've got it! Oh! Alpha faked the ball. Gun for the goal. He took him out, and that left it completely uncontested. What a is one thing, beating them in front of a crowd is entirely different. As we get into game number two, Vitality have started off on the front foot, but now that might be about to get challenged. Ooh. Oh, it's honestly a great save by Redosin there. Beast Mode made the shot very awkward for him by putting it behind him. Redosin controlled it, kept it in the back corner. This, you know, even though it's close to Vitality's goal, is usually a safe position for them. Atomic with a chance for the free aerial play. Have a foot to work with flying from the ball, but he gets slapped back into it. Didn't have enough momentum on the irritable bump pass. There was a second man coming up, but now looks like he was there first. This time it was Daniel. Beast mode having an argument with the inside of the goal. As that's oh. now dropped down. Oh! Well, he tried, but it was not quite enough. Oh, Alpha's trickery. It looks like he's going across the box. He stops and goes the other way. And Atomic had to play that. It was going to be Zen's either way. Unfortunately, he could not get enough on it. And it's 1-0 Vitality in game two. G2 know how this feels all too well. So many of their fans will be thinking, not this team again. Backboard, Radosin almost oh, oh, oh. got there. Two players needed to stop him, as Radosin has really come into his own in the latter half of this tournament, as Alpha keeps the pressure on. When we talk about the, the additional pressure of playing in front of a crowd. For Vitality, they've just been Infinitely better in front of a crowd. Now, this is a chance for Beast Mode. Atomic's going to join him in the back corner as well. G2 have played a lot of their offense in this exact corner this game. Not too much effect, and now Daniel's lost control. It's on target, saved by Beast Mode, but G2 starting to look a little bit shaky in defense. They need to lock it down. We're seeing how early Vitality are challenging now. No opportunity to control the ball. 
Zen's gonna look for a goalkeeper. Early jump from Beast Mode to avoid it. Oh, look my. at the chaos cause. Oh my! So Redosin can finish it off. Vitality are just in their element. Alpha fakes one. And G2 just get completely tangled in defense. You know, in game one, they spread out brilliantly. They had the backboard covered, they had the ball challenged, and they had the passing option covered as well. But here, you can see they're just gravitating towards the ball. Fake uh, kickoff there by Vitality. They're going to collect the ball in their back corner. That's something that, although it looks dangerous, they like to use because it gets them into this midfield play with boost at their disposal. Zen's going to wait for it as Beast Mode does clear. Gets the ball straight back over to the Prodigy. And Sen is just collided to midway through the air. Atomic looking to try and make a game of this. Not far off. The vitality have just really not given G2 anything to work with. They have been in sync in offense as well, which is a scary prospect because a lot of this season we've talked about how Vitality have lacked that synergy that had them defeating everybody easily at the tail end of last season. Zen over one again, G2 have got players back. Vitality are just in cruise control right now. They don't need to force the issue. G2, who's it gonna be? We talk about the help Daniel's got here. As Rails pointed out in the desk before the match, this is the most talented roster Daniel's ever been a part of. He doesn't need to carry. Who's gonna step up and make that big play to get G2 back on the board? But in plenty of time, and now Daniel up to the air, immediately challenged. Alpha was having absolutely none of it. Now Zen, oh, wow. beautiful catch, looks to go the whole way. Not gonna happen, but this is the problem here for G2. Uh -oh. It is wave after wave of offense, and they're merely surviving. Yeah, they got no boost. Beast mode on one small pad, Atomic and Daniel had nothing, so it's just constant vitality pressure. G2 still hunting for a big boost pad that they're just not spawning for them. Atomic, the key challenge to buy some time. How much time? It's Alpha, right next to the goal. Slow playing, little one-two with the crossbar. G2 surviving, but they need goals. They need counter-attacks. And Vitality are not giving them any opportunities. Yeah, Daniel's got the ball. He actually has a decent amount of boost here. Beast Mode does take over. Second man up has always been quicker from the boys in orange. Atomic looks to try and catch them out. He's got Daniel waiting back oh. on. Drop down pass, and even that was covered. That's a great interception by Daniel. But Vitality, no worse for it. They continue to... Pretty comfortably hold on to this two goal lead. I mean, they have been absolutely terrifying in the midfield. G2, a team who are so known for their offense online, really not able to produce any of it here. Solo plays, team plays, all being shut down. And forced all the way to their own side of the field with time running out. One minute left in game number two. As Vitality look to continue their march towards another major championship. This oh. is their best chance in the while, but Daniel oh. shot left so much to be desired. Yeah, it's just not good enough for G2. They are lacking quality chances. That was probably the best of the bunch. Got to take a good shot on target. That's much better from G2 as they start to take the risks in the closing stages. Oh, what a save by Redoso. Daniel dunks it in, though. G2 finally on the board. 36 seconds to find one more goal. And it took the entire house to get that over the line. We've seen what Vitality have got on kickoffs. Now let's see if G2 can counter it. They just need possession, they've got time. One goal is massive here. It swings the momentum towards G2. It's gonna be Vitality straight back into offense. Now they really have to be careful. They cannot leave that half chance for G2. They have just finally got something to go their way. Vitality not scared to commit though. Look at this from Redosin. Looking for a flip reset on that mid-air challenge. This is not the Redosin that we have seen so far this season. This is so much improved. When his team needed it most, Daniel reset. Oh! oh. 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 And at the worst time, it's happened again. Oh, what a shot by Daniel. Ridiculous angle with the flip reset. Vitality did not think he was going on target from there. No one inside the net to stop the perfect shot. Daniel ties it. Back to Zen. Goes up. Are we going to another overtime? Alpha will leave it. And that's on target. Oh. Not quite. Oh. Oh. That one certainly was. G2 have stolen it. Unreal. Just when you thought a timeout was coming. G2 come back and take you with a zero second goal. I mean, that is just...
ridiculous. Huge for G2. Huge for North America. And for so many G2 fans that have been with us for a while, that one will be so, so good because they will remember certain players scoring oh, 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 oh. zero seconds. Ruining their chess set world championship back in season seven with almost yeah. the exact same style of play. Now G2 have got all the momentum. Love to try and get their second game on the board. And yeah, they almost scored there. It's a great save from Alpha 54. G2 look completely energized by that comeback. Well, let's see how Vitality responds. They've uh, had a couple of road bumps. It's not all been clean domination, despite winning the last two international RLCS events. They know how to bounce back in themselves. Let's talk about that. Grand Final, Fairy Peak was one of the players who played for Vitality, of course, in that famous win against G2 years ago. He stands behind the squad now as the coach, helping them out. This is a chance for Zen. Decides to go over the 50. Daniel defends it beautifully. Zen tried to go low, and Daniel still had that one red. Now in goes Zen yet again. G2 have not backed down just yet from trying to challenge as early as possible. But now Beast Mode's missed it. Zen challenging. That's going to drop down. Will Zen want to turn? Not quite. Instead, waits for the ball to come to him. He is solo for now. Radosin, not the best first touch. Does need a bit of help. Receives it from Alpha. Now Radosin with players to aim for. Uh oh. Now, off the backboard, Daniel clears the safety. Oh, well played. Daniel again. Just getting that one extra touch to make sure. The G2 are not going to be in trouble there. It looked like it might be another chance for Vitality. Beast Mode now trying to chase down his own play. No, it's to Atomic, and it's in! G2 up by one. They are clinical when required. Four goals in a row now for G2. Well in control. Can they now finish this off? Kickoff goes back to Radosin. Who can play this now at the ceiling, but that's not rolled the way he would like to. Across all the work, off the backboard, early challenge. Beast Mode has to launch early, did not want to get caught 2v1. Yeah, solid third man commit there by Beast Mode. It's a clean angle to attack the ball from, so it's not to get dunked on. Vitality being a bit frustrated here. Towards the end of last game, now the start of this one. That pressure that was so easy to come by. Suddenly, only few and far between moments. In the G2 oh, end, bomb. Alpha's been taken out of the game here. Follow up by Atomic, save this side, Daniel on target. Slowly, Redosin lobs it. Clear, but not too far. G2 still in offense. And Beast Mode Center using, oh, using the backboard beautifully there. G2 looked like a completely different team. Reset, looking for the next one up. It's Daniel, backboard, double tap. In comes Beast Mode. Just needs to try and drop this down to a teammate. As Redosin, he's got So Atomic! Oh, oh, oh. We'll finish it off! Perfect pressure play by G2. Beast Mode denies Redosin's clear by landing on him. And Atomic goes over the top of two. Completely boosts our Vitality defenders. What a regain this was by G2. And boy, are they running with it. Oh, and now Redosin's by himself with Beast Mode chasing, chasing! Oh, wow. And Redosin was just too slippery. I mean, that really is a huge save. If G2 go ahead with three goals here, Suddenly, that's six unanswered. In about a five minute window. It could still be with Daniel in the air. Reset. Saved by Alpha before it can get anywhere near the goal. And Ritosin just opts for the ground play here. You can see the pre jump challenge coming in on the right of the screen there. Talty are really struggling to link up all of a sudden. They've been completely stunned by G2's brilliance. Now, here comes Alpha, the wall. Oh, it's a great reset, but saved by G2. They are not out just yet, and they will be sure to remind us of that fact. Atomic, looking to try and put this one away. You could imagine a three goal lead with this amount of time left would be safe enough, but here comes Zen. For a dose over in support, watch to see if Daniel would have a mistouch. That does not happen. Instead, we've got Atomic looking backboard. What a read this oh! be! Not far off. I think mean, that's just brilliant by Atomic again. He's really come to life in this game. The link up with Beast Mode to open the scoring. Now here come G2 on the counter attack. We're in the final minute. They look solid, but all of a sudden, a long clear hits off their backboard. Glad to see that one go wide. Looking for the down 
shot. That's going to be so oh! dangerous. Cause chaos. Cause destruction. Cause G2 fans around the world to get a bit more worried. Oh, G2 had the boost there. They just needed a challenge. It's what we've been complimenting them on all day. They have not held back. They've not waited. They have been going forward at the ball that time. Not so much. Now Radosin straight away on the kickoff. Leech Mode's dispossessed him here. 40 seconds to work with for Vitality as they attempt to do what G2 did in game two. Alpha not quite there for the reset, but he can still follow. Zero boost. So whatever he does here, he's going to be very late back. Zen, first touch. Actually opens up a gap here for G2 to challenge. They will take exactly that opportunity. One more chance. 20 seconds. Radosin is midfield should they require. Instead, Alpha goes to the pre jump. Oh, my goodness. Oh! Jump by Radosin, he shields the ball, denying the clear, and Zen slots an equalizer. I mean, this is just ridiculous. G2 from two behind in game two, Vitality from two behind in game three. What a series. We're only three games in, we're not even done. Will we have more regulation drama? Up goes. Zen moves in. Santa Beast Mode, who will accept the overtime. Who is going to take the second one? Another half foot kickoff by Vitality. Zen follows up closely though, and it does give the ball away to Daniel. He's off the ceiling. Not able to get anything on target. Radosin intercepts the pass as well. Now it's Vitality on the counter attack. Offloaded to Zen, who's been demoed out of the play. Back into the midfield. Daniel launches to Atomic. Ceiling. It's dropping dangerously. But Radosin nice and calm. Alpha looking for the setup. He's got Zen. Far side. Who waits for it? Takes over. Now it's up to G2 to defend. Yeah, where those challenges from G2. Looks like they are playing this one out aggressively. Beast mode off the ceiling. Looks like it's going to be Vitality's ball again, though. So they take it away from him. End-to-end -end stuff. Both teams happy to up the pace. Off the backboard, Sen. Has to wait for Alpha. Didn't want to land on his own teammate. That's dropped through. Beast mode. Buy some time for his team. Back to the midfield. Daniel with Beast mode. Look at Sen. Oh. Not far off. A great attempt on the bump there. That was the play to go for. But Zen avoids it, takes control. This is going to be available for Radosin. He goes for a control touch on the backboard. Bates in one challenge. Flying after the ball now. It's a 3v1. Vitality and bodies forward there. G2 with a crucial recovery. They've got to stay aggressive. G2 in that defensive game. They conceded the first in this game by backing off and giving too much space to Alpha 54. Not made that mistake so far in overtime. In goes Atomic for the challenge. That's going to bounce off for everybody to try and chase. Alpha to Zen, who's not going to get them for beast mode. Every single time that ball is launched long, now just following it up, seeing who they can demo. Make the path just that little bit easier. Oh. That's, that's going to drop down, and Alpha doesn't look too happy. But he's got the rest of the team. Beast mode, controls, drops it, back oh. one, double, next one up, can't take the shots. Oh, it's so close for G2, the ball just would not fall in front of net, Vitality are scrambling though, not a lot of boost available for them. That's a huge clear to buy them some time. Daniel, reset, beast mode, straight towards Zen, who has had to just camp over on this backboard for the longest time. This is not where Vitality want their talisman. Beast mode, off the ceiling, drops down, oh. it's Atomic! Unreal by G2 again. That far post approach by Atomic covering the clearing options. And even though Vitality got something on it, it didn't go far so far. And we are just hopefully barely about to reach halfway. Timeout is over. Let's go to Utopia as Atomic starts off. He's over against the 1v1. He's almost found a way through. Yeah, there's good support from Vitality there. Oh, salvage well by Beast Mode. He didn't get the read right as he jumped, but able to recover beautifully. G2 pouncing on all these half clears by Vitality. That was the theme of the end of the last game as well. Vitality could not get rid of the ball long enough to re-establish boost control. Those two middle boosts have belonged to G2 for the longest time. Radosin looking for the ceiling. I don't know if he's got the reset. We're about to find out. 
cup rotation. Two players, but now that means there is a swarm of blue cars. Oh. They can leave it, but not for long enough. Yeah, I like the idea by Daniel there, by Vitality. He saw it coming. And that's been a, another theme of the LAN, is these fake aerials with quick follow-ups. Always got to be aware, not just of the player on the ball, but the next one coming behind. Daniel has gone, at least for now, sent to the scrappy. Now dropped to Red Dosen. more demos. Zen takes the shot, oh. save once again. Daniel with so much goal coverage there. You'd think he'd be the one in trouble, but he kept his momentum, even at a boost, and launched himself back into the ball off the underside of the crossbar. Still Vitality coming forward, though. Alpha under one. The follow-ups are coming in so quickly now for G2. Looks like that timeout has not affected them negatively at all. Both these teams are just vying for so much midfield pressure. You can see in the background, Atomic wanted to put Alpha out of position. So now Beast Mode turns. And the choose just to trek back for the time being. Even helps his teammate out on the way through. But Boost is a huge commodity right now. Beast Mode off the wall. Zen tries to target Redosin. Redosin back to Zen. Just too far out to really trouble G2. Well, that shot is obviously going to get saved, but it's about the follow-up for Vitality. They need to use that to try and set up the next attack, and that's what they're doing here. Beast Mode with a huge bump onto Zen there. Denies the aerial play before it could even get started. Now Alpha leaving it for Redosin. Strike for a sideball read there, missed it. They cannot afford to make these mistakes. G2 have been all over them. Whenever they leave a ball uncontested for even a split second. Again, you can see the respect that Zen is commanding. Two players sent to try and stop him. Zen's gonna go for the pinch, not quite there before Daniel, as again Atomic just wipes through. Vitality have done well just to not get hit in those positions, but they also need to stop getting put in those positions, as Zen not gonna choose to attack. Wait, ball goes midfield and Daniel clears. Like you mentioned before, it has been a bit of a struggle for Vitality to establish boost control in this matchup, at least the second half of it that we've seen. G2's ability to respond on stage has been nothing short of extraordinary. From two games down yesterday against BDS and looking like they're about to go two down against Vitality. Dosen clears. These are testing shots. This one's maybe a bit more testing by Beast Mode. That's cleared as well. Vitality scrambling again though in defense. This match really does feel like it's on a knife's edge. Who will be the magician? Who will make the mistake? Might be Beast Mode, sets himself up. Redosin covers the backboard. Now Daniel drops the ball down, leaves Huge. it for his teammate, and somehow still, Zen had the read. More fake aerials by G2. Vitality will need to be keeping an eye on everyone in the play at all times. They've got boost right now in defense, so they should be fine. As soon as that, those numbers run low, they look like they're panicking in defense. Whereas G2, it doesn't seem to matter if what boost they're on. Massive redirect by Beast Mode. In fact, maybe a bit too much as it goes over the top of Atomic in the midfield. Here comes Alpha. He's not able to get onto the ball. Does get a pop high, though, to Redosin. Follow-up is a little bit wayward here. Vitality taking the scenic route. 50 seconds on the clock. Goes down. Mercy Redosin is waiting. What can Alpha do to try and set him up? He's also got someone on the far side. Who will now be called into action. 100 boost, ball available. What can he cook up? Looks to try and set it up, and Daniel finds a challenge, puts it wide. This is the best spell that Vitality have had in quite some time. Will not want to lose possession. Will not want to lose territory. They go again. Zen keeping that clear away from the wall where Cheetah were looking to pre-jump, and that's giving Vitality a bit of pressure here. Redosin confidently up for it. Final few seconds of the game. Vitality have had a lot of pressure, but not really that many chances to score. Drops down, Atomic. Zen now just skying past him. Redosin will wait for Alpha to take control. Next one up. Alpha's actually lost that one, so Zen accepts oh, the oh. overtime. But that was a little bit too close. Yeah, gladly accepted overtime there. Zen grounding it. And now he'll be first to make a play on the ball in overtime. Sealing interception by Daniel. Controlled well to the backboard. No mistakes allowed here from Atomic. Needs to find a bit of a gap. Has done so, and now he's got beast mode. Oh! But puts balls aside. Dosen turns just in time. These launched balls give you so much time to think. So much time to potentially make one mistake. 
Dosen's going to trek back. He's got plenty of boost to work with. Maybe not as much time as he wanted, as that's now across oh. the face of goal. Zen's got some time. 30 seconds into this overtime, still no winner. Well, G2 continue to arrive at the perfect time with their supporting players when shot opportunities arrive. They are not lacking in any confidence moving forwards. As again, Atomic follows up immediately on Beast Mode's pass. Now off the side while Daniel taking his time. No immediate challenge coming through. Back post pass intercepted. And back pass this time for, for Beast Mode. Wanted someone to challenge him, did get his wish. Atomic, who's he going to get the ball past? He's doing so well. That's oh. dropped down. So there we oh. go. Daniel puts G2 on match point. Atomic with a huge play. Bumping everyone out of the way. Nobody went out to meet him. And he cleared the chance for G2 up in a different level. Well, Vitality have tried to rally the troops. We go to Aquadome. And we see whether or not we will require a game six, or if G2 can get this done way early. And I think many would have them beating a team like Vitality. Zen, oh my <laughs> goodness! The magician pulls it out of the hat! I mean, just how on earth has Zen scored here? That first touch is unreal. <laughs> he blocks it, top ends, past the entire G2 defense, number one defense, 1v3 from Zen. We have triple match point. Who cares? We've got a Zen. Daniel leaves it for beast mode. Almost caught them all out. Zen was the last one back. Now Radosen gives chase. Unable to get there before beast mode did. Who looks to take everybody on. It seems to be just get the challenges, get the demo as once again Zen has to avoid. Look at the transition. Leaves it for Alpha. Drops down again for Radosen, who's got a bit of time to work with here. Looking to go backboard. Daniel can't afford to make any mistakes, but Vitality also did not want to send the numbers. Beast mode off the backboard has saved just in the nick of time as Alpha gets demoed by Atomic as soon as he made the save. It's a continued theme. Vitality are not challenging at that midfield line. They're a bit afraid of overextending, a bit afraid of getting outplayed by G2. That's not really something that you can afford to have in these situations. You can't hold back. You have to get those challenges in early. My time for the players behind you. Zen up against Beast Mode. Beast Mode actually follows! Oh, oh. That could have been one each. Instead, Radosin leaves it for Alpha. The will continues to give chase. Good to get another good challenge. Steals the 100. Now back to midfield. Will there be the backboard reads? Oh my goodness, yes, there is. Oh. And still, Zen keeps them out. It's still shocking to see Vitality letting a ball come through. They're not reading these clears by G2 very well right now. G2 might be down 1-0. They are still the team for making more progress easily when it comes to territory. Beast mode delays. Gonna go up yet again. He's got chaos at the moment on Vitality. He's got some bumps, but he doesn't have any support. G2 did not want to fight at that. It's Alpha. This is so awkward. He's done well. Oh my goodness. My goodness. Just an is error anyone, happening. Is there anyone left with the pitch there? Vitality. G2 traded demos. Now double reset. Daniel continues to air dribble. Dunk it. Atomic's also committed to Beast Mode. Has to be careful. And he is. Solid 50. And a continuation as well from Beast Mode. To give his teammates time to get back. Drop down there for Daniel. We're going to try and even us the back up. He's got Atomic far side. Instead, looking to cause that chaos yet again that Vitality have fallen victim to. Back midfield, Alpha gets the ball up. Just gonna chase. No real reason to send the house just yet for Vitality, unless there is a clear cut opportunity. There's still a bit of hesitation with their challenges, Vitality. They're lacking momentum in a lot of these exchanges, having to grind to a halt like Zen is here. Of course, that makes it a little bit trickier. To be, to be flexible, to cover more than one angle. Can't turn on the spot in Rocket League. You've got to drive in a circle. Atomic again, tried to replicate what he did at the end of last game. This side vitality were privy to. And you're seeing the issues that that is causing. The fact they have been so slow means that they are more vulnerable to these demo plays. He's, he's got two coming after him. Atomic almost got demoed straight off the respawn. That would have been very tilting. Zen off the wall. Oh. Like any other time, Vitality might have had a look at continue to press that advantage, but now they'll happily just take the time off the clock. There's yeah, still 90 seconds for G2. They were able to produce two late goals in the second game of the series to completely steal momentum. 
Right, can they stop Radosa? Yes, they can. Recovery challenge by Atomic. Now you've got Daniel on the ball. He seems to be glued to it right now as he's locked in. Beast mode. Air dribbling forward. Bumps Alpha out of the way. Radosa comes in. Takes away the ball. Zen ends up missing it. And now Vitality struggling to try and find out who's supposed to take it. Thankfully, their confusion was also G2's confusion, but that's such an awkward bounce. In goes Beast Mode, oh. who was a bit too close to the shots and couldn't get any power. Yeah, he's trying to get there as fast as possible. The quickest follow-up he can get. A bit too high for him to react to. Now, final 50 seconds. Lob pass from Beast Mode. Daniel's going to be first up in the play. Zen challenges, and it's passed off. Still, no goal for G2, and they didn't get a regulation goal in the last game either. It's been low scoring. Vitality tried to mount the comeback. In field for Atomic, couldn't find the target. 30 seconds. Vitality have to hold this or they are eliminated. Beast mode goes low, takes the challenge. That is not on target, but they are running out of time. That's a huge challenge by Vitality as the clock ticks down. Final 10 seconds approaching. G2 have had all the offense. Vitality have defended bravely, still holding on to that one goal lead. Can they cross the finish line? Beast mode for Atomic. Atomic can't get there. Everyone's faking out. Daniel out there for Atomic. Not enough power. Oh, oh. Vitality have stabilized. Vitality got the dub. They send us into game six as one of the best playoffs that we've ever seen in the history of Rocket League continued. Atomic to the far side. Just has a faking Zen just in front of him. Are we going to Champions Field yet again? Or has Daniel got something to say about it? Up comes Beast Mode! Zen there, just in time. And that was a double commit from Vitality, and not a good one, not a quality double commit. But you're covered in different angles, they're both covered in the same shot there. That's just the aura that Daniel's got now. Beast Mode, center ball, no one there for G2. I think that G2 have had more flip resets this game than Vitality have had touches on the ball. Up we go yet again, Atomic, ceiling, reset. Daniel, far side, he might go the whole way by himself. Dosen goes to meet him. This is where Vitality have played their entire series, and now they are vulnerable to bumps and demos yet again. And that leaves the oh, shot oh, for oh. Atomic. G2 strategy strikes again. Perfection with the finish. Sense clear goes nowhere. And Atomic gets it on the right side of the post. It was the inaccuracy with their shooting that plagued them through a lot of the Swiss stage. They have had no problems slotting shots in the semi-finals. So now Vitality have got to change up what we're seeing because Daniel's moving in. Oh, Looks oh, for the oh. second. Zen pops the ball over the top. Beast Mode and Daniel both trying to chase back. As Zen narrowly doesn't hit Daniel. Still looking for more players. Vitality will not want to give up this territory. It's been so rare that they've had opportunities for themselves and that one is going to hurt to see fly over their heads. Well, all momentum has been G2s. Ever since that Game 2 comeback, it makes you wonder, even though it was Vitality winning for most of that game, would it have been smart to call a timeout there and try to stop this momentum early? G2 have been relentless. Vitality, again, on the back foot, this time with a goal disadvantage. We asked earlier on who's going to step up for G2. Daniel did. It's almost a rhetorical question with Zen on the pitch. Who's going to step up for Vitality? Here he comes again, and he does it again! Drag G2 kicking and screaming out of this tournament if he has to. G2 won, Vitality won, they just won't go away. I mean, Zen is just something else in these games. These goals are insane to witness. G2 have looked like the best team. We keep saying it, and Zen's just gone past their whole team again. He just goes straight through them with the air dribble dunks. Atomic didn't quite get enough on it, but Vitaly were expecting a little bit more, and that's actually put them off. Now that's so awkward for everybody. Redosin, the ball to be chased. Zen. Alpha's not going to get there, so now some time for Beast Mode to work with. Tries to get past everybody. No quite going to happen, but Redosin again has missed the ball. So now Vitality, they're scrambling. Back pass, shot, on target, Zen stops it. Vitality have absolutely no boost. Pre-jump by Beast Mode. They're trying to get the ball up high where Vitality can't follow, but back corner spot for Alpha 54 there. And he used it to make a play on the ball, but not for long. G2 coming forward again. 
But Dosen's one that has the most of it, and thankfully he's the one on the ball. So now we pop out to the midfield. Huge launch in from Alpha. He's going to be so laid back. Oh, and it's oh, so, wow. so difficult. Zen controls the ball opposite side of the field. Well, he was going to go for a pinch clear there. Decided not to, because it's going straight to a G2 player. Now Vitality have got some offense of their own. Zen's goal seems to have brought some life back into them. Definitely brought some life into Zen. He's starting to dominate. Redosen, shot saved by Atomic. And Alpha and Zen deciding not to go forwards. Alpha would have liked to have just popped that to himself. Ends up getting hit out of the way, so now he's going to follow anyway. Well, Zen just infield. No, fakes it out. Just a lack of confidence to launch for here from Vitality. That is a difficult ball to play. Alpha now moves in. And oh, like, oh, he's made oh, a complete mess of it! Oh, my goodness! But the bump was the best thing that happened to him. Oh, now Beast Mode the other way. He's here dribbling over one. Denied by Zen, who has been a total menace to G2. Here now a loose ball for G2 to work with. Again, Zen pops it into the middle. But to, towards a teammate. Atomic's miss at the other end. Almost cost G2. The easiest goal Vitality would have scored this series. Daniel, that is sublime control. Up to the wall. Zen up against him. Now can try and chase on through. Radosin doesn't really get challenged. Now Alpha opposite side of the field. Back ball, double tap. No, he couldn't shoot it, so he leaves it for a teammate. That's still in a dangerous spot. But Zen refuses to go, realizing it might be too risky. This is one of the best spells to play Vitality have had in a while. Can they make good on it and send us into game seven? Final 35 seconds on G2 and defense. Zen drops it down to Alpha! 2-1 Vitality! The roar from the Hornets when that went in. Will we hear a louder one in 32 seconds? Or can G2 silence the Hornets and silence the Doubters? Daniel looking for Beast Mode. Beast Mode back into the midfield. That's launched away. And G2 with options here. They've got time. They don't need to rush this too much, but that time is now starting to slip away. They lose control again. It's off the road backboard. Daniel takes his time, but it goes through him. Radosin scores as well. It's slipping. G2 had it in their grasp. Triple match point. They've got to get something off this kickoff. Or the detour through Neo Tokyo will arrive at its final destination at Champions Field. Oh. Well, they need to get a shot on target here. It doesn't look like one's going to come. That'll do it for Vitality. Unbelievable. Just when you thought you'd seen it all, we have a game seven on the horizon. Champions Field! The defense, but I don't think that's what's gonna happen. I think they're gonna save the house. We don't need to wait anymore, let's find out. Five minutes to see who goes to the Copenhagen Major Finals. Will it be heroes or villains? We go off the backboard immediately, there's already oh. a whiff. Vitality, the last thing they need is to be stuck in their own side of the field like they have been for so long in this series. Daniel controls and instantly met by Alpha. I mean, I don't think we're going to see much of a game plan change from G2 here. I think what they've been doing has been working. They're just trying to maybe psych out Vitality with this timeout, make them overthink, try and figure out an adjustment that isn't even happening. Vitality are not holding back either. Both teams now trying to bring their best to game seven. Drops down for Atomic. Just going to try and give chase. Alpha does well, can follow as well. Only as far as Daniel, who will stay on this play. It's all about getting those small wins. You get past one, maybe you can get past two. Get a little bit of breathing room. As actually G2 are tying themselves up a little bit here. Cannot afford to give Vitality an easy way in. No boost run out for G2 in defense, but it also ran out for Vitality on offense there. So G2 were able to get away without too much of a scare. Now here comes Zed. He has been more than a problem in the last two games. And even with an early challenge for Beast Mode, he's still finding a way through to weave his way through defenders. Alpha 54 denied as he was about to get a flip reset. G2 doing well so far. Stop Vitality's chances. And Alpha straight into the path of Atomic. He's out of boost. Vitality won't know that, however. They just know that they've got somebody charging them down. 
drop out to beast mode. Radosin looks to get there. Zen also on the backboard. They clear to the far side, so Daniel has to just cut across. Three minutes left. Oh, Bump taken, but it's, it's on the goal line. Oh. But not for long enough. Oh, that has to have a follow-up, you feel, for G2. Oh, their last player wasn't close enough. It was absolutely wide open for about a second. And here come Vitality the other way. Follow-up. Time from Zen, he didn't have a lot of boost, just wanted to put a 50 in. Approaching half time, G2 looking to get a chance on net. There it is, it's Radosin chased into the goal. Has to come up huge, oh what a save by Radosin. He was 2v1 and the one was the one in control. Beast mode, over to the wall. Atomic beats the ball by Zen, who can control, reset, tries to go by himself. But even that was asking a little bit too much, but Vitality have got themselves in a good position. Now midfield. Zen is cutting rotation and getting access to those two mid boosts so often. G2 just got to find some breathing room. Yeah, great backboard coverage by Daniel. Here doubles it clear to the midfield. It's always popped to high for a start, man. Your beast mode bounces on the play. Alpha immediately up in defense. Two minutes on the clock, still scoreless in game seven. So, so tentative from both sides. Neither of them want to launch the house. They know that could be the end of their major. Radosin just down the line. Gonna try and see if he can get any demos, but Met on the way too. Here so we go, backboard for Zen. And Beast Mode knows better than give him that. Yeah, Zen was boostless following it up, but Beast Mode can't take any risks. Now it's Alpha, half volley off the back corner while Beast Mode sideball double attempt, fakes it out. Zen, there to read it. 90 seconds of the clock. Vitality nope. and G2 looking to go the distance. No goal so far. To the wall. Atomic has support. Daniel tried to get the ball over to him. So in goes Atomic. Radosin avoids getting bumped. Zen looking from the wall. This is so scrappy from both teams. But of course it's going to be everybody's oh. on the line. Daniel oh. the shot. Fakes out one. Tries to set up Beast Man. Oh my goodness. The post saved Vitality. G2 came so close. One minute now. G2 cannot allow that, allow that to put them off. Radosin, who dares challenge? Up goes Alpha, fakes oh. it up for Zen! Oh. And Beastman makes it up and gets the stop. Entertainment, like in our scene, Radosin double, downwards. Zen is there, that is saved by Beastman as well. But how much has he got left? Gets rid of the ball for now, 30 seconds. It's Daniel. Fake again. So many mind games. Looking to drop the ball downwards. He's faking absolutely everybody. But Beast Mode shot is blocked. Alpha tries to pinch. Doesn't get as much of it as he wanted. It. In comes Zen. Reset. That was a heavy touch. Up goes Daniel. Left for Beast Mode. That backboard will be covered. Zen takes over. Can Zen make another miracle play? He looks at 50 into Alpha. But we are going to overtime, ladies and gentlemen. This one will be settled in the most dramatic fashion. Daniel looks to be the hero. Backboard, who's the first one to it? Atomic wanted it. Beast Mode just controls the midfield. There's the demo. If Vitality can get a big win here, they might have a way through. Was covered for at least the time being. Up goes Daniel. I mean, it's just so scary to commit in these positions. You don't want to have this end on a mistake, but if you don't commit, then maybe you have to watch an open net. Pass you by, Daniel tested the routine save that he makes. Alpha will turn, gets good contact as well. Zen has to jump earlier than he liked. He was getting pressured in the backfield. Radosin there first, over to Daniel. And Daniel with a perfect first touch, but the second touch gets away from him. Alpha's gonna have an angle to challenge here. He was in reverse, so he couldn't make good on it. Now beast mode off the ceiling, going to the right side of the goal here. We're gonna keep a continued pressure play going. Vitality are looking like they're in trouble at the moment. They've managed to get themselves the boost back. But G2 have got the momentum. They've got the territory. Now Daniel. they have Daniel looking to set up. Drop down. First one to it. Up goes Beast Mode, oh, but not quick enough. Oh, another great save by Radosin, who comes in clutch for Vitality. Zen trying to dispossess Atomic, who dribbles it past him back into the middle. But it's gone over Beast Mode. So the time has been all G2 so far. And that challenge will not change the narrative. Daniel. Gets the ball to drop down. Zen with 14, and he doesn't get any more, so he has to just settle to clear. Oh, what clear it is. Of course, Beast Mode controls it perfectly. Looking so composed on the back wall. 
50s with Alpha, who takes it away from him. Cautious play from both teams. It's all about avoiding mistakes in these huge situations. Now oh, here comes Zed. Flip reset, goes in front of the ball, but he can't get the bump because G2 are here. It's and it's open! G2 are gonna take it! 